I have a dream not only for the north but for the entire country Nigeria. I have a dream that Nigeria will be truly united one day. I have a dream that Nigeria will have a buoyant, a strong economy. I have a dream that Nigeria will have the political clout that will enable her to lead the rest of Africa and the blacks all over the world. I have a dream that Nigerians will come to regard one another as their brother's keepers. I have a dream that Nigeria will take her proper place in the Committee of Nations and will be one of the leading nations of the world. I have that dream. Insha'Allah. And all these ugly things that are happening today will come to an end. God willing. Only God has no beginning, no end. Everything that you see, good or bad, has a beginning and it will have an end. By the grace of God, we will see the end of all the crisis in Nigeria. By the grace of God, we will come to know peace and stability in Nigeria. By the grace of God, we will be our brother's keepers. Unfortunately, today, it is not so. And that is why I'm worried. That is why you are working for it. And that's why we are working for it. Today, Nigeria is not what it was. Nigeria was a decent country, morally sound, yes, <coughs> but today, the, even the institution of family is breaking down today. We'll do it for you. Respect for elders like me. We'll do it for you, Baba. Respect for elders <laughs> and the constituted authority, which used to be a cardinal principle in our society. Is now it is lowest end. Honesty, why it does not pay, has become meaningless. Some putums of revolt loom large in the horizon. In short, there is meaninglessness in philosophy, insecurity in polity, chaos in politics, immorality in society, corruption in economy, frustration in art, lack of creativity in literature.